Kia ora everybody and oh, oh my goodness, excuse me, Kia ora everybody and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm Skating Hobo, you can call me Bailey, my voice just disappeared on me and I hope you're doing well today. Uh, if you're on YouTube, uh, thank you for joining me, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and if you haven't already, hit that link down below to come join us on Twitch, I would love to have you here. Um, what we're going to do today is just continue where we left off, which is the start of chapter 4. So if you remember from the last part, we had finally been caught out by the Greys and the Braithwaites, and we ended up getting into a scuffle with the Greys in the middle of the roads. Unfortunately, our boy Sean, dead. And then Jack, the little man, got kidnapped, unfortunately. So we all kicked up a big fuss. We moved our camps, and now we're over at Shady Bell. And now we're doing missions in San Denis, looking for Angelo... What was his name? Borjo? Something like that? I probably got that completely wrong. Whatever we'll check when we get in the game. But my first order of business today, I want to go find the Red Albanian. Um, if you remember from last part, I was saying that I'm pretty sure there is a Red Hair. Uh, red Hair. No, that's the name of Lubu's horse in Dynasty Warriors. But it looks kind of like a Red Hair. Um, but yeah, I was saying that there's a Red Albanian and I wanted to find it. <clears throat> and I thought that the way to find it would be resetting maybe maybe a new day maybe this uh inventory at the stables here in saint denis would reset but i did a little google just to make sure that i wasn't going to waste tons of time uh terry what a way to start sorry terry's just terry's being strange i'm sorry i'm not actually joking i'm just making mistakes but yeah so i had a little google to make sure that i was able to potentially Angelo Bronte, not Borjo. Um, able to get the Red Albanian here, but it turns out you're not. This one is pretty much always the Black Albanian. So what we've got to do is make our way over to Strawberry, make our way over to Owengila Lake, and then somewhere around this area, the Red here has a chance of spawning. And apparently it's been available since like Chapter 2. So, ego on my face, I guess. But, you know, not something I knew, but something we're going to figure out together. Looked like it was somewhere here from the little YouTube video I watched. Um... If I remembered who it was, I would totally give credit, but I'll be honest with you, I don't remember. It was some, like, European-sounding guy, sounding kind of French. But, um, yeah, we'll get onto that today, and then we'll get into these Angelo Bronte, sorry, sir, uh, Angelo Bronte missions. So, we'll just get out of town, and then we will set up a little camp so we can fast travel over to Strawberry, and then we'll make our way to Owengila, see if we can find this red, uh, Albanian, and then... Break it in, saddle it up, and make our way back into the game. Oh, come on. oh, all right. Auto save. I always forget about this. It always kind of catches me off guard when it pops up. It's slowing me down, I think, because we're near this mission. But I don't want to slow down. Come on. We'll do this later. All righty. Let's get out of San Denis for now. This place is too busy. It is overwhelming. All these people in their carriages, and the, the trams. It's too much. But yeah, hope everyone's doing real well today. I'm feeling real good. Just finished some lunch. I had a coffee, a sausage roll, and a couple of salami sandwiches. Got myself real nice and fed, so hopefully won't get hungry for a few hours. And then can, you know, make this a bit of a longer episode today, a longer part. Right, as soon as we're out of town, we're setting up camp. Come on, Terry. Up to, I think Terry's... Dragon feet because he knows that soon he's going to be put in the stables like a boxed Pokemon. As much as we love Terry, we're going to stable him once we find this red horse. And if you don't know who Red here is from the Dynasty Warriors series, you can call it uh, Epona or Epona or whatever. I've never played Legend of Zelda games, but it looks like the horse from the Legend of Zelda games as well. <coughs> so, whatever your fanfic is, that's what it looks like. And if there's different games that have a red horse in it, let me know down below because that'd be cool to know. So we're going to fast travel to Strawberry. Arthur's facial hair is looking burly. <clears throat> well, uh, I wish there was a way to know how long the hair tonic was in our system for or it was working for. But um, we'll just keep growing that stuff until it's maxed out. I want to get like 10 length on the beard, the chin and the chops or the, the, the bird. The chin and the, the, the mustache, whatever you call them, all get them as long as possible. We even get his hair as long as possible before we just give him a clean shave and reset his look some way, shape, or form. But here we are, the shootout town of Strawberry. <clears throat> and we're gonna head west 
at to Lake Owen Jula. Looks like it keep my marker, so that is nice. Oh, we got to. Yeah, I got a bit of a problem. I can't. I can't drive straight. Look at Terry. He's like sideways. There. Oh shit! Sorry, bro. What's your problem? That actually affected my honor. Damn. I guess I got to be more careful in town. Oh shit! He's angry. He's a little red dot on the map and everything. Let's just get out of here. We've already had enough beef and strawberry before. We do not want more bounties. All right. <clears throat> out we go. I think because I posted a couple of Red Dead clips to TikTok and um, Instagram and stuff, they think that like, oh yeah, we'll show him some Red Dead content. And I've been seeing so many like clips and things from Red Dead. And one of the things I saw was in that mission where you break Mike out of jail when you're escaping from Strawberry, someone like did a hard like break check on Micah and he ended up crashing into the back of them and flipping over and then landing and like hurting himself. It was pretty satisfying to see Micah get just rocked. I thought it looked very good. Fuck Micah. Oh, sorry sir. God, I'm a terrible driver today. That's alright, we're not worried about driving straight. We're worried about getting us a new whip. I don't know what I'm going to name I thought about naming it Lubu, but I think it's a female. And I don't remember what Lubu's daughter's called uh, in the Dynasty Warriors game. I think it's like Lu Le Queen or something like that. I thought about just naming it the Red Hair to, you know, give that tribute to Dynasty Warriors. I think it's apparently somewhere up there. Once we like, we have to cross this river and then just kind of hit up the mountain. There's a guy here. Hopefully he's friendly and not going to get angry at us walking by. I mean, that could be it right there. Hang on, let me, let me get my, uh, oops, fumbling. Let me get my binoculars. Is that it right there? Oh my gosh. Yeah, yo. <clears throat> First try. Alright, well, we don't want to get too close too quickly. I've not captured a wild horse in this game in a long time. Like, since my last playthrough, which was like five years ago, as some of you know. So, um, I believe you just stroll up to it. And then you want to like calm it and then get close to it and then hop on and try break it in. Now, I don't know how to break in horses, so hopefully it's not going to be too difficult. Alright, first we'll study it. Yeah, there we go, Albanian. What did that thing say? Call the horse to get his attention. Hi, girl. Okay, it is a girl. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm not going to name it Lubu. Slowly approach the horse while staying locked without her. Moving quickly will spook the horse and cause it to run off. Okay. Easy now. Take this Let real slow. Okay, stop moving because it's spooked. I'm just tapping the shit out of calm. Even though it's not like lighting up. My controller is doing some crazy vibrations. You're alright, chill out. Hey there. Hello, beautiful. You've been who I've been warning this whole game. Okay, stop moving. I think that white bar above the um, Arabian name is kind of the indicator of like how spooked it's likely to like run off or maybe even charge you. <coughs> hey, 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 it's all good. I'm not sure if I could just lasso it. Once it allows you to get close, press try and go to mount the horse. Okay, see she is? Like she's chilling out. Hello. Okay, we got we got pet. Hold on, we'll see if we can pet it first before we try and mount it. You're alright. You're alright. Hey there. She's freaking out. But it's so good. It's so good. Try to get even closer. Okay, we'll just mount it. <clears throat> okay, what do we do? Hold left and then move it left and right to try and stay on. Oh my gosh. Hey, successfully broken it. So some wild tendencies continue to bond with the horse to make it more obedient. Hey, alright. We're going to get it to a stable and then get it saddled up. 
Where's the closest stable to here? It's like just out here, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. I'm happy we were able to do that first try. I was not looking forward to breaking in the horse. I'm like, fuck, we haven't done that in ages. Don't know how that's gonna go. All right. Yeah. Come on, girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, Keep clicking on that stick to try and like calm it. So I want to buck me off, and then we have to chase it down. I press up on the D-pad. Will Terry follow? Ah, Terry's chilling. Oh no, here he comes. Okay. Terry, don't charge her. She's nervous. Oh, but yeah, what a beautiful horse. She's tiny. The Arabians are very small compared to, like, um, Terry. Terry's like the tallest horse we've seen. Not as big as the workhorses, but, um, definitely not as tall. But apparently these superior horses have, like, the best handling, speed, acceleration, all that stuff. Oh, sorry. Yep, I'm on my way. Just grabbing a horse. Oh, some people. Alright, we'll keep um, giving her the pets. Letting her know she's a good girl. Can I um, give her a little carrot? Get her cores back up? You want a carrot? We're friendly. Ah, there we go. Level 1 bonding. Now I just want the whistles and commands to make it your main horse equip uh, that with your saddle. That's the plan. Okay, girl. Oh man, look at that red coat. What a beauty. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Right, well now that we've bonded level 1, I think we'll be able to ride, so... We have to get her bonding all the way up so we can get all her stamina and health cores to the max. But, you know, that's no biggie. we still got a decent amount of game to go. At least I assume we do, because yesterday when we were riding through those towns that we discovered, I was kind of having little flashbacks of memories and stuff, and I think we're truly maybe halfway? I mean, ooh, shoot, shoot, we saw something spooky, there's a snake. That's alright, sorry about that. Hey, don't want no snake to buck us off on you, beauty. You're alright, you're alright, come on, girl. That's the one. You know, Terry, he can just get saddled up, I mean, desaddled, and just spend his life in the stable now. Sorry, Terry. But I've been wanting this red Albanian since day one, man. I am Lubu. <laughs> I am Link. I don't know what we're gonna name her, so. Oh no, someone who needs help? Look, any other time I would help, but right now, I'm in the middle of helping my own girl. I ain't got time to help some other girl on the road. Did we just get lose honor because of that? Yep, I think we did. Her honor is still pretty high though. I want our honor to be the highest because I like the high honor ending in this game from memory. I remember I played through it twice back in COVID times. And um, from memory, the high honor ending is definitely the best way to go. But I don't know, I'm thinking it's actually kind of nice. After a good five year gap and playing a bunch of other games, living a bunch of life, I've kind of forgotten a lot about this game. Like, I still remember details. Like, I know Arthur's going to get sick and I know other things, but. I don't know, there's a lot to, to remember. Like, I forgot Sean gets blasted in roads, and that was... shocked the shit out of me. Alright, Terry. Sorry, bud, but this is how it is. Love you, Terry. Hello there. Oh, look at her. Horse doing all right? I'm happy to you can sell it for 18. Horse. Gee, yeah, stable there. That's my horse. Alright, so we're going to settle up the Arbanian. I can't give you much. I've heard before. I suppose because we didn't have, like, paperwork for it. She doesn't sell for much, whereas if we went and bought an Albanian, it would probably sell for a little bit more. That's fine. Alright. Albanian. Services. Yeah, we'll give her the care package. Wish more folks took care of their horses like you. Let's rename her. What are we going to call her, though? Maybe we'll just call her Lou. Kind of like a... A nod to Lou Boo. Where does it even say that? You sure? Here we go. You don't know if I'd want to be hollering after a horse with that name. <laughs> you be quiet. You don't know. Lou is lovely. All right. So, uh, tech and services, equipment, saddles and saddle bags and bed rolls are all fine. I think it's all just got the same stuff we had on Terry. Appearance. We've got to give her some nice, nice drip. It's nice you know? to give a little special grooming. Regular. 
short, I don't know about the short, long's kind of nice. I don't know about the braids, I like the mohawk, but that was Terry's look, so maybe we'll just go long. Give her the nice long locks. Give her that red to black kind of ombre. That's not bad either, the, the red to black again. Oh, that's not bad either. Oh, that's pretty good. Is it 16? Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, I think we'll do that with the long. <clears throat> kind of goes with her look. Or do we just want to go like straight black? I kind of like it with the black as well. I think we just go like black and long. No, not, no dye. Sounds good. And then tail, what do we got? Natural. Few careful I don't know about the short. Will look just fine. Long's not bad as well on that. I do, honestly, I'm kind of biased towards the braid. I think the braid does look the best. God, Lou, can you wave it around a little less? I mean, out of all of those, like, I think we just go with straight black again. Yeah, the long black braid with some long hair. Heck yeah, Lou looks lovely. Alright, that's Lou. Alright, Lou. Yep, thank you, sir. Right on. There we have it. This is Lou, our new horse. And she got lovely long luscious hair. Alright, Lou. What are we doing today? Now, before we go straight back to Santa Anita, let's see if there's any... It's like we have this over here, Magnifico. We can go and catch... Um, Bertram said that Magnifico is camping somewhere in the woods. We can go see if we can track him down. We also have this jewel up here with Fla uh, Flaco Hernandez, which would be kind of cool to do. But I think it's out in the snow area, so we'd have to, like, dress appropriately. We do have a snow outfit, I believe, stored on the horse just by default. Or we can break into um, Valentine along the way. Or even maybe just here and buy, like, a snow coat. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll stop into um, Strawberry Valentine and get ourselves a nice coat and then head up for Blaco Hernandez. Because, yeah, we have the Winter Gunslinger, which is nice for, like, winter weather. But I don't know about it. Let's just check on the regular Gunslinger fit. What's close? Stra I mean, Strawberry's closer to us, but, yeah, Strawberry would probably make us take the less amount of detour as well. Okay, we'll pop into the Strawberry General Store. And then we'll hit up the Flaco Hernandez. Alright, come on, Lou. Lou could be interpreted as short for Lucy. Lucille, even. Lucifer, because it's red. She kind of trots a bit funny, but the, the more we bond, the better it'll get. So, for now, she's probably not as good as Terry, but... Should definitely get there. Hey, that's my girl. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, bond with the horse. Give her a little brush too. Even though she's pretty clean, she just got done up at the saloon. Well, the stable. More like the salon. With the way her hair looks. All right, I'll be right back, Lou. This guy's apparently still open, so that's good. <coughs> How we doing on cash? 12.42, pretty good. Hey bud, I'm here for some Got winter attire. <coughs> Excuse me, my god. Alright, clothing. Let's get into this. Hats. Let's give me a winter hat as well. We'll do the whole outfit, why not? Alright, where is my marker? All hats. What kind of style we want to go for? I think in... Something you're interested in. Military scout's not bad. Could go for that with a little cord around it. Big valleys kind of like keep all the snow off us. Bulldog is not bad. It gives me the very cowboy vibes with the curled up sides. I like the Paragon Town hats, but I've got one of them. Dwarn game. Isn't that what Arthur has? You know what? Yeah, I think we'll go military scout and see what colors they got. Got the grey on grey. Coming in here to ask for a job. <laughs> Give him a job, bro. 
He seems chill, newspaper kid. Okay, out of all of them, I think I'm gonna go for this like snow drift one, so that you can't even see the snow build up on all green. We don't have a nice green hat. Yeah, screw it. Let's get a big green hat. And then we need a coat for sure. We need something that is winter appropriate. Does it say on here? Now that's something you'd like. Doesn't really say like, oh yeah, this is good for winter warmth. But I mean, the scout jacket looks like it'd be pretty warm. This guy does not have much of a selection, eh? Oh, uh, the classic tailcoat looks like it might be pretty warm too. Kind of want something that's going to be in green. So, do we have one of these? Oh, we have this one in green as well already. That could kind of work. It's a bit of a different color green. On the gold here. You think if I knew I'd still be working in this place? Eh, probably would be. That's that's more so the green we want though. That goes the right color. Though it's definitely not warm attire. So we'll have to um hope for the best. But if it says the Arthur's getting cold up there, well then my bad. Alright, overshirt. <clears throat> I think we'll look at the she customers sure love that every day i mean like a nice plain white one can't go All wrong right. with a nice oh it's grayish white but you know can't go wrong with that show me them vests my friend see that's a bit too uh, i see that's caught your attention lush for my styles oh the classic though or even just a green one of these or oh, what's green that uh, are they even that different am i just blind or are these really just kind of the same i think this one's a bit darker so we'll go with that one all right what about pants you got any nice uh pants for us my man go rock those blue jeans or even the gray jeans. You looking for anything in particular? Everyday pants. Mm. Town pants. I don't know about these with the patches on them though. Oh wow, that is that is definitely a type of green. I don't know if I'm looking for green pants exactly, but something that kind of complements the whole outfit would be nice. Fancy you know, pants. Much as I don't like them, these tourists coming through do seem to very much like my store. Rash pants, good for the skinnies. They do have green skinnies. Oh wait, that's kind of a darker green too. Oh, that's kind of caught my eye. Yeah, you know what? So. And then we're gonna need some gloves for sure. <clears throat> oh wait, boots first. Mm, I, mean, I do like the deluxe style ones. The cavalry ones are kind of nice, but it looks like snow would fall in them. You know, the way they have that little lip out on them? And that doesn't seem very smart for going snow trekking. Do the preacher's boots come in better colors than this? I do not mind that black and white, but it doesn't suit like what we're going for. What about sleek riding? That like kind of dark brown. I like that. that. I'll go with that. Now. What else we gotta do? Damn, so many gloves. Uh, riding gloves. I mean, that dark brown could kind of just suit the boots that we got, so we'll go with them. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> then we got suspenders and. Chaps could be probably pretty useful for how cold it might be out there. You looking for anything in particular? The straight black doesn't look too bad. Or the ones with the straps. What kind of what kind of flavor we got going on here, my man? I actually kind of like them. But the alpha we got going on. What those? Yeah, you know what. I usually don't go with chaps, but we're gonna 
just add that little bit of extra warmth to our stuff and then with the spurs i think let's go for popular even with the tourists here western deluxe maybe oh yeah this this black with the kind of like yellowish trim i'm feeling it i'm feeling it anything else to go for no all right well it's not the warmest looking outfit <clears throat> Last call. oh Can sorry bud yep sorry I shopped until it was closed sorry bud but i mean like a little leprechaun all right let's actually use this to wait till morning and we don't have to ride out in the night time <clears throat> not that we're going to be shopping again but he didn't seem to have winter coats which was the only problem so maybe we should pop over to valentine because i mean as good as we look we do not look like we're going to be warm you know i probably should have got a full red outfit to match uh old lou over here i just i like how we look man i feel like we look like a fancy leprechaun and me and lou together we're christmas baby all right, do we go to Valentine and look for a winter coat? Or do we just head straight up in the hills? Valentine's kind of along the way. Ah, you know what? We got time, why not? We're gonna pop over to Valentine, into their general store. I could probably even just catch a stagecoach from here. But that's all right, I don't mind. We need to ride with Lou, get her friendly levels up, so we'll do that. <clears throat> Let's head out. All right, Luke, show me what you got. Hit it. Max speed. Apparently the difference between these and the others is that they're like, their turning is very responsive and very precise. So like, you can like, wah, wah, and they'll actually really like, hit it, which is pretty good. Obviously your stamina's got a lot of building up to do. But that's all right. One of the videos I did see on like uh, TikTok was, he was like, I think Arthur was escorting a lady that had been like, you know, oh, hang on now. Some dead dudes here. Easy, easy. Uh, you know what, not my problem, not my, not my problem, keep my nose out of it. Um, he was escorting some lady that had, I guess, like, had some unfortunate things happen to, oh, look at how much they've cleared now. Damn, dude, these dudes work, huh? They have been here in a while. Um, but he was just going, she was telling a sad story, and he was like, I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah. Like, really, like a little, yeah, like a soft one. Mr. Appleseed is very unhappy. Mr. Appleseed ain't out here getting mauled by wolves. Oh, shit. Wolves two men already. What's your good for nothing, cowards? Yeah, yeah. Call yourselves lumbermen, you afraid of us few damn critters? It's a forest. What the hell do you expect? Kind of fear, but like... Also, give him some protection. Oh, yes, yes. Maybe Howdy. you're the man I need. Can you believe these lazy oh, lily dude, livers? Good. Refusing to work on account of a few little wolves. They've been attacking workers on the south side of the camp. We need a real so man there. to get rid of them. What do you say? You'll be very well rewarded. I can do that. All right. If you're paying. I should be able to take care of that for you. Alright, kill the wolves attacking the Appleseed Timber Co. Hey, Lou, where do you think you're going? Oh, we probably don't need Lou, but I do need the weapons on Lou. Alright, we'll get the Lancaster. Oh, and the pump. Do we need to go out there on the horse? Probably not. I don't want Lou to get scared. So you know what, Lou, you just wait right here. The pump is another one that we need to actually give a bit of TLC to. It's very uh, unaffected, you know, it's got no no colours, no aha, no um, embellishment, just a stock pump. Alright, what do we got here? Oh shit. Okay, looks like the trail goes out here. Well, we could probably take Lou. <clears throat> I don't want to get too far away and Oh, that's what those two deeds are for. Oh, shit. Okay. We got, what, five shots? Hopefully we can hit them all. Yeah, see, I can hear wolves. 
the camera's not being very playful with me. Uh, oh shit, they're coming. Oh shit. Okay, that wasn't too bad. A little bit close on that third one, but not too bad at all. <clears throat> Can I skin them all? Oh, well, I guess we've got to wait for Lou to make her way over. Come on, Lou. Yeah, that's a good Lou. I know one of these days I'm going to call her Terry on accident. Oh, look at that big red shiny ass. Oh, and then the light, she gets kind of like an orangish to her. Yep, yep. Come on, Lou. We're going to skin a couple more. Don't worry about it, though, Lou. This Easy, is part of the game. Girl, I'm nearly there. I'm surprised they're all good. I assume they would be poor because we filled them with buckshot. When we're in Valentine, I might also uh, embellish the pump before we hit up the Flaco Hernandez. Even though, like, that doesn't really matter. It just, look at it on our back. It doesn't look right. It doesn't fit the aesthetic. Still no perfect rules. Kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Come on, girl. I assume you wouldn't get perfect pumping them, but I honestly thought they'd be poor. Right, we'll hear Arthur talk to his horse a lot in the coming parts, because um, I'm going to try to get our bonding up high as. Alright, wait here, Lou. i got to talk to this foreman. Don't go far now. Yeah, I was going for like a I second, my dude. From all the gunshots and howling, you got some good news for me? Yep, mm -hmm. it's done. <laughs> That's a relief, I'll tell you. Excellent work. Money's right there on the table. Thank you, sir. Don't mention it. Me and wolves go way back. Nice. Good bit of cheetah. All right, now you guys can. Oh, not what I meant to do. Right, there you go, so now you guys can get back to work. I don't know. Well, there's three wolves. If it's a whole pack, there's probably more than three. There, girl. All right. <clears throat> we make our way to Valentine, and I'll probably just sell these pelts and hearts and meat to the butcher out there. You know what we should probably do as well? Is it in kit, right? Oh, I guess we can't take that. We'll be riding too fast on the horse. Easy now. There we go. Let's have another hair tonic, and when I'm at the general store, I'll try to remember to grab one. Gotta really grow that shit, you know? I don't know how long it is, but it can be longer. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, little leprechaun, Arthur. And if there's no winter coats here, that's no biggie. But I just assume they were more winterized coats, you know, big, thicker ones. Oh, she takes those corners like a champ. I was getting nervous going over these bridges because, like, you know, the O'Driscolls or the Lemoines or what were those ones we found last part? Those freaking, like, hillbilly, like, deformed looking, incest looking motherfuckers. God, I'm not looking forward to finding out more about them. But I'm always worried that one of them is going to be on the other side of the bridge, like, trying to stick us up. Okay, leave Lou alone. Yeah, she seems pretty quick. Seems like we are going a little bit faster than Terry did already. Her stamina's not up there yet, but she's definitely quick. Maybe she's just a placebo. Yeah, I'm not freeing a criminal. Get all the best fellas. Lou's so chatty. Almost said Valentine, you can just kind of see it over there. I think that's Valentine. Yeah, there's Valentine just up there. Yeah. Anytime I hear him say, yeah, now I think of that sad, yeah, that I heard him do in that video, so bad. But like, it's awesome that I guess they recorded that even. Okay, girl. 
slow it down now. Oh, there's a stranger here. Okay. Guess we can stop and check to them too. Alright, first we'll sell our stuff to the butcher. Been a while. You ain't been seeing another butcher, have you? <laughs> Maybe. Uh-huh. Little bit of cheetah. Alright, come on, Luke. Thanks, partner. No, brother Protus, you're my friend. You there. Hmm. Okay, let's see what these guys want. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Are these two trying to res up this lady? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, oh, she's into it again. She's following. Just make sure everyone knows you <clears throat> asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> All right. Okay. Do I just have to pick? I mean, he asked first, Please right? So. Put us out of our <laughs> you got mine, and I barely. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> do I just shoot him in the head? As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. All right, smaller bottles it is. Now is as good a time as any. Can I like dead shot them? There it goes. <laughs> that will stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you <laughs> the kill fuck? the beast. Emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen, silence. Yeah, they're trying to like impress the lady. Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and him. Boop. And. Boop. Bravo! <laughs> and if anything, I should now be impressing her. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would burn <clears> too <throat> if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us. Both. <laughs> God, can't you just... Pick different women if you're twins, like, okay, well, that sure was something, huh? Two brothers seeking adventure in the west, Arceus and Proteus, have bottles shot off their heads to prove their bravery. This will continue at a later time. Guess we'll see them later. What do you know? Lou's parked herself around the alleyway, which is nice. Alright, let's see if these guys in here sell winter coats. Been a while since you came through town, ain't it? You're got everything you need. Have a oh, look. Awesome, dude. Let me have a look. Now, let me have a look. Did he give me two dollars? What a butt. Uh, first, I need to get hair tonic. There it is. Uh huh. Boom. Take me back to the index here. Do you sell winter coats, my man? Mm, 
No, it doesn't look like it. I sell out of that Damn. pretty fast. At least, not that I can see in the way that it says, like, this is winter appropriate. Maybe in San Denis, maybe in another town, but we're not going to keep running around too much looking for it. We'll hope for the best and worst cases. We made a nice leprechaun outfit and we'll go and just wear the winter gunslinger coat. Alright, Lou. Come on. Go pop into the gun store, do up our pump, and then we'll be on our way. There is another bounty here, so... We could potentially do that later. Been a while since you've been back, hasn't yes, sir. What can I do for you? I want to do up my pump. All right. First of all, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Do all the components. Thought about upgrading the oh, Can we make it longer? I got some nice Ooh, ones. Okay. Give it a bit more accuracy. Give it some rifling, for sure. Change the sights to be improved. Essential, I reckon. And stock. Uh, I don't know what that does. I think it's just for looks, and I don't want the leather wrap. Styles. Metal. Want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Oh, first, yeah, let's go with engraving so I can actually see what's what. Or I guess I picked the colors first. I don't know what kind of things we got. Mm, I think I like the ornamental the most this time. Can we like. Look around it, it look now. Nah. I just like the way that it looks on the um I don't even know what to call it. Like between the if main all part. The bounties running around new Hanover, I'd be out of business. I think we'll make it gold. We're gonna make this one a black and gold. <clears throat> okay, so medals. I do like that blue steel. The bolts on the inside, interesting. Frame gotta be blue hammer make that one gold sight also gold trigger also gold I let Sheriff Malloy and his boys know about my best deals as you can imagine do that for sure I think it looks pretty good uh, carvings what do we got we did just kill three wolves with it the wolf might not be bad yeah I think we'll go with the wolf one on this one and varnish got that dark walnut or do we go with the ebony if it weren't for all the bounties running around we'll just go dark over, walnut. i think I'd it looks good business. yeah that's nice ammo i think we should be pretty good on it yeah we got 85 out of 90. Stock up on ammo. You never uh, know. it does if it's the full price for five shots all right cheers bud Right on. Lou, no what are you doing standing on the stairs? Alright, now, go head up north. I gotta find this Flaco Hernandez character. And then we'll be able to come back here to that look, Jimmy Brooks or something. Oh, look, wait, hang on. Albert Mason's here. Further help. Arcadia for M. You know what, we'll do that because we have to come back through here to the saloon. And drop off the photos to Jimmy Brooks. Hey there. Oh, sorry everyone. What's wrong with you? Oh, what's wrong with you? You're walking in the middle of the goddamn road acting like I'm the problem. Oh, Idiot. Uh, heck yeah, uh, hey there, pal. Can you help me? Maybe. Could you use some help finding my way home? I can't make heads or tails of where I'm at. <laughs> Brother, it's 1.05 p.m. I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station mm -hmm. you know if i'm heading in the right direction a system sure, sure just head over that way you'll get home fine thank you mister certainly do appreciate it certainly do coming from a good time huh sheesh All right, let's get out of Valentine. Good girl. Yeah, that's my girl, Lou. Yeah. Man, it has been raining a lot today. On a real life, though, real life has been actually a pretty nice day. 
considering it's the start of winter, that's a pretty big surprise. Well, not really. I like to call New Zealand a tropical island with the way our weather is just so up and down. Like, it's just borderline bipolar. What's happening out here? You, you right, dude? Mister? He's watching. He's always watching. Jesus? He's never talking. That's how Jesus works. They won't forgive you. Uh -uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. I think it happens at the end of your life, my dude. I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> what? What? Well, it ain't happening. No, no, Mad no, no, it isn't. <laughs> that's why. That, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from them. See? That rain just went real thick and real normal again. They come for me, but I'm watching. <laughs> I, I never sleep. I never do. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, Lou, maybe we should just go. Is that it? Done? Don't walk up on me now, shoeless. Yeah, I don't know what that was about, Lou, but you got the right idea of getting out of here. I'm with you. Fucking bye, dude. All the best with your Jesus stuff. Right on, well, that's a mad creature, I guess. Sometimes I feel like we got to stop and talk to these people. Maybe to get some honor points, maybe just to get some free stuff, maybe get a tip about something. You know, it always talks about, well not always, but how it talks about that there's like, um, clues to see what shops have like secret goings on, going ons in their like back areas where, how we found that one in, under the, uh, gun shop and roads. Actually, what I think about it, are we allowed near roads here, or is that like, done? I don't know, it doesn't look like it's all like red. You know it was red before when I do not step foot in here? And the Caliga Hall, but it seems like it's over. But I mean, I guess we killed most of the greys, right? So who's gonna stop us? Though we didn't kill old man grey. Probably should have. We left the old lady Braithwaite alive, which is probably also not a smart idea. I'm sure she'll come back for revenge once upon a time. Alright, we're into the snow areas, Lou, so. Yeah, take it easy, Lou. I'm gonna have all types of critters running around. You know what? Let me get my things at the ready. Just in case. Right, what's there right there? Fox. Perfect. I could have probably killed it to get a perfect fox pelt. We would probably need that for our trapper. Ah. We'll keep rocking. I wonder what kind of animals are up out here. I think this is where we were. This kind of area up here. I think this is where we were in the prologue. Yeah, see, it's saying winter, and I've got like a red snowflake appearing on my heart meter thingy. So, I don't know. It might not be too big a deal. I think it just means that your health core drains faster out here. Yeah, I wonder what kind of animals we got. Like, we know we need to hunt some moose, so if we find a moose, that's pretty good. Um, could always do with more f wolves. Yeah, good girl, Lou. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Ideally, we won't run into any like panthers or whatever the heck's out here, up in the snow, yeah. like mountain lions or something. I don't want nothing to touch, Lou. Yeah, it's still saying we're cold. Okay, well. What do we got on? Do we even get to pick? See, this is our custom alpha, right? So, will that stay there if I put on Winter Gunslinger? Ah, we gotta slow down anyway. So, if I put this back on, we won't get cold. And then, let me just check if I can do it now. Yeah, custom alpha should put us back in the green. Okay, you know what? That's fine with me. We can um, dress appropriately for the weather while we're up here. And then when we get back into a colder, I mean a more uh, weather appropriate, we can dress like a leprechaun again. 
But yeah, I'm gonna kind of keep half an eye open to see like what animals appear on the map out here. It doesn't look like much though. It's all grayed out. What's this? Uh, look, ranch. Some kind of ranch. It's got a fire on it, so who knows? Maybe that was the one from the very start of the game. Hey, you're okay, girl. Yeah, it's cold. I'll give you a loot. But we got to ride. We gotta make our way around and through. One way or another, we find a Flacco Hernandez. And we're gonna give him the old volcanic pew pew. Yep. Oops, I need to jump. Just take it a nice slow trot. Don't worry, you wanna like exhaust loose stamina up here while it's cold. Yep. Real bumpy terrain. I've been playing a lot of um. Riders Republic lately, like off stream. And man, that is fun. The controls are a bit weird to get used to at first, especially after coming from things like Session or Skater XL. We use the R2 and L2 to turn. Like, here, what do we got down there? Um, because you use R2 and that to go fast. Whitetail bug. What's up, dude? It's definitely some kind of bigger, uh, bovine like creatures out here from that freaking screen. Maybe there is elk. No wait, no, we don't need elk, we need moose. Maybe there's moose out here. What are these? They're just big corn sheep. We don't need any of them. That one is perfect though. With the old pop on the top. That's a good ring. Nah, we'll let you guys be. I'm not looking for none of you guys for my collections right now anyway. Or for my crafting, I should say. None of it's really collections. A little rabbit. I wonder if they're all black tail jack rabbits or if there's other kinds of rabbits in this game. Because I mean there's fucking tons of animals. A little string here. I think, yeah, I think that was the village we started in, right? Colton? Yeah, must be. Alright, so we're getting pretty close to this dude. Let's hope that we can um, have a proper duel with him and he won't just completely destroy me, but no promises, man. But we didn't have the dual black bell, maybe this one's chill. There, girl. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh no. Loot. <laughs> Sorry Lou. Didn't mean to let you get scared by the wolves. But I knew there'd be wolves out here, man. Somehow I just knew. Well, they were both two relatively clean kills, so maybe we got perfect belts now? Copium? Good. Didn't even have time to like check any. Stow it on the loot. Now you get a nice warm butt cover. Just hold on there, girl. Yeah, hold on, girl. Another good. Damn. I don't know how we're gonna go finding perfect ones. They're always hostile yep. as. Like I think you need to lay down some predator bait, use some cover scent lotion, and just hope that a pack of them come along. You know what, Lou? Here's some oat cakes. Alright, we're coming up on like a... Okay, something up here. This looks like the area as well. So... Search the camp for Flaco Hernandez. Oh, there's a guy right there. The Lobo. Um, does Arthur speak Spanish? Hey, who's that? You're in the wrong camp, stranger. Uh. I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't like visitors up here. Kill this fool.
Okay. Well, there was one way to do that, fellas. I guess it didn't matter if Arthur spoke Spanish or not. Uh, you wait inside, Mr. Hernandez. Yeah, Gon Gonzalo, El Samo, and Alicia, they're all dead, brother. It's like someone walking up to our camp being like, I just want to speak to Dutch. And then we'll be like, well, you can fuck off. And then just that one person blasting the shit out of them. Like everyone. Alright, bud. Flacco Hernandez. Flacco you Hernandez. Trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you. About Boy Calloway. Put your weapons away. Now come out. Okay. I'm unarmed. Well, you're armed. You got lots of arm. Oh shit, look at his coat and his bandoliers. I just want to talk. Can I take that now, coat? Calloway, uh, here's your message. You yeah, know. Nah. You got a pistol for me to pick up, Mr. Hernandez? Oh, yep, Flacco's revolver. Wait, whoop, oh, Arthur, turn back around. Yeah, I won. Oh no, L1, right. Drop volcanic pistol for Flacco's. And drop Flacco's for volcanic pistol, because. Uh, <clears throat> can I loot him? No? Okay, just photo time. Well, please hold, Mr. Fernandez. Um, there we go. Cool. That wasn't too bad at all. Oh, do I have to take it with me? Just in case. I'll take it. Not bad. Put a little, like, skull embellishment on it. Okay. Any, um, loot in this camp, boys? Anyone hiding any goodies? Any lock boxes or something? There's hats. Maybe I should take Flacco's hat. That thing is a big, wide broom. Wait, what was that? Del oh, pick up Del Lobo. Nah, I'm all good. You know what, though? I could actually use... Uh, something to give my stamina and health. Oh, yeah, kidney beans. Nom 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 nom. Can I take his hat? No, it's like strapped to his chin. I don't know if we can blow his head off. So we'll just leave it. Got anything in here, Mr. Hernandez? Ooh, little lockbox. Glad we checked. Oh, is it a map? Hello. The poisonous trail hunter. What the fuck? Start by some rock who looks like a face. Go through a tree around some bends. Um. Yep, that's on the back. Classic. Okay, well. If I ever see a rock that looks kind of like a face, I'll look more into that. High velocity pistol cartridges. Ooh, some ginseng. Yeah, I'll take that. Anything else in here, Mr. Hernandez? Ah, uh, some premium ciggies. I see you. I probably didn't mean to do that. I was already on 19. Let me take them. What, what card are we going to get today? Come on, big Rainbow Pikachu. Oh, Jolly Jack cigarettes. Automatic piano, a uh, player piano. Yo, okay. Okay. I mean, he's living in a shithole, but. Lou! Get your red ass over here. What are you doing over them lame hills? Good shit, Lou. Good shit, indeed. Alright, any other reason to be up here? Yeah, that's my old weapon, so that's fine. Uh, 
I mean, there might be. There might be, like, a legendary hunt all the way, like, up these kind of ways. And there's apparently wolves even further up. But, like, do we really want to keep going around there? Maybe not for now. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's bighorn sheep. There's, like, a Ewing Basin. I think that's where we um, took out, uh, fuck, what's that? Combo Driscoll's men. Maybe. But I think, time to go back to Valentine. So, can we just set up a little camp here? Oh, actually, can I swap that back to my, um, yeah, volcanic, there we go. Nice, and then set up a camp. Yeah, right on the ice, thank you. Well, luckily there's just some perfect circles around the campfire and around the um, tent. All right, let us fast travel. Actually, let me craft a little bit of food so we get that dead eye core gold. Got something in my eye, excuse me. Eat that. What if I make like oregano and minty? Oh, I've only got one more big game meat, so I guess I can't do that. Oh, well, that's fine. Let us fast travel to Valentine. Alright, Luke. Pack up. Oh, dude, with our big winter coat and our big winter beard, we look pretty on. I wonder if I could find hair tonic in real life and grow my own stuff bigger. Because like, my beard is pretty big, you know, my chin's actually here. Beard's down there. It's not the biggest, but it's big. But, like, I'd love to get a moustache that was bigger. Like, curl it out and stuff like that, you know, like never been able to it always just grows to a certain length and just kind of stops right first and foremost there we go right let's go hand the stuff into flaco hernandez wait no to um what was that dude's name jim boy calloway and the guy taking photos of him they said they were going to stay at the, the saloon so i assume they're just going to stick around here So there's no like quest marker, so I don't know if it's a thing. Fine, look at animal you got there, my friend. Thanks. Vampires and Saint Denis, they're saying. Real sightings. Vampires and Saint Denis. What the fuck? Well, I hope you have to deal with my vampires. No Where's the joy. girl? And what do you want? Um. Oh. Guess he's not here. What the fuck? Where do we go to find them? Huh. Well, I do not know. And that um, Albert mission's not here anymore, too. Maybe we're going to come back at a certain time of day. I felt this. Alright, I'm going to go rent a room to make it daytime. Because I feel like it's getting pretty late. It's like 8.30pm. Maybe they're here in the daytime. Evening, partner. Hello. How you do? Yeah. Here we go. Oops, sorry, pal. Sorry. Blame Lou, she's new. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you, punk? Alright. Hitch up, Lou. I'm gonna get a room at old Jack Patillo's place. I don't know if it's got a name, but we'll go here. I saw the other day that Jack Patillo's streaming and stuff now, so I chucked on my follow. I might try to tune into some of them if I ever catch them live. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Thanks, Jack. Uh, let me like rent a room. room please. Room's all yours. Head on Thank up. you. Something's going on in one of those rooms, but you know what? It's not not my problem, not my thing. Let's search these drawers. We didn't do it when we were here. I didn't really think about it. Oops. Dresser. Search. Dresser. Search. Nothing. We've got another one over here. Okay. 
don't know what's going on in that room, but you can just hear someone like yelling. Alright, nothing. Alright, what was it? Here? Uh, weapon locker. Let me just put the. Um, what do we need? Flacco Hernandez. Oh, wait. Are you a horse? Are we on a horse, right? Yeah, Flacco's revolver. Let me store it in the locker. Okay, so we got the bow, the Springfield, the Varma, the Lancaster. Two sword offs just in case. Pump, Shawfields. Nice, wait, where am I? Oh, wait, they're on my person, the volcanic, right? Um, let me put that on my shoulder and put that on my back. Nice. Perfect. All right, time for a nap. Till morning. Hopefully this will either get those. I feel like I said his name before and I just forgot it. But the dude who wanted all these photographs of the gunslingers, hopefully it'll make him appear. Maybe he's just not there at night time. And if not, hopefully it'll make that um, Albert mission appear. Because that would be cool. I'm just going to have some water real quick. Ugh. Bang, 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 bang. If not, well, I guess we'll head on out to San Denis. Hmm, doesn't look like he's there. Oh, the Albert mission's here, though. Okay, we'll go to Albert Mason. See what we can help this homie with this time. Honestly, those guys are still going? I'm busting into the room. What's happening in here? I guess I'm not allowed to know. Do you reckon there's like a balcony? Because I know there's a balcony like out there. Does it wrap around or is there any way I can like get in that room and see? Because like, sounds like craziness is happening. Not can only look in the room. Doesn't look like we can. It all goes downstairs from there. Alright, well. Come on, Luke. First stop, we'll just sell those new pelts to the butcher again. Welcome. Howdy, I'm back. You doing business with you? All right, come on, Luke. Let's ride out to Albert. Give me Albert for Luke. He's a crazy man. He likes to photograph wild animals and hope for the best. Oh, everyone's in the way today. You're right, Arthur. And eventually when we're done, like probably when we're playing John, like post game, I'll probably look up the location of all these like treasure maps or anything that we've started and not finished. But I don't know if we'll do a hundred percent on stream. We might. I just might stop being so regular. Um, unless we want to get the craving to play the game. But hey, who knows, by the end of it I might be craving it heaps and we'll go find all the dinosaur bones and all the trading cards and all the other stuff. I do not rightfully know. I feel like some of them are in like scripted locations, you know how there was some like in the top of the um, top of the hotel room in Strawberry? Stuff like that I feel like it's going to be a thing and you'll be able to go to like different houses, different places to find all the uh, stuff we're looking for. Looks like, I mean if I was home I'd be up there, so let me just take this thing off my map. Yeah, he's up. Easy girl. He's up, not ease up. There he is. Hey, buddy. Yes. Mr. Mason. Number five. Oh, oh. oh, we almost fell off the freaking cliff. Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, nice. the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, that's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? 
You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff. No, but, well, maybe He's so least. close to the edge. I'm dense, Look at him. but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite, quite. Oh, oh! Ah, damn! Please don't tell me that's how he died. You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Albert. Oh, 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 okay. oh, oh. Looks like Bert shared himself. Dude, I'm so green. Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. Yep, fair enough. You know, I really did get some, some amazing pictures. Thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. Ah, it's no trouble, man. I enjoy hanging out with you. I think it's funny. Is that really the end of them? That's it. Huh. Yeah, off he goes. Albert Mason almost plays the ultimate prize for his work after tumbling off a cliff edge while trying to take photographs of flying eagles. Is he actually flying eagles out here, or...? Hold on, Lou, I'm gonna just have a little look look myself. It's a bit foggy, man. It's very foggy. Fucking sh shit day for it. I guess the fog just rolled in, but like, damn. Come on, girl. I'm surprised that we can't hand this stuff. Oh, it was Jimmy Brooks, I just remembered. Oh, well, we do have this bounty we can do, so let's do that before we hit. Oh, my camera was just doing the flashy, flashy thing again. I don't know what causes that, it's just the PS5 camera, like the one yep. that's meant for the PS5, so I don't know what causes that, if it's like my lighting, it is getting a bit darker, so maybe we'll flick on the room light. Um, is that Albert just up there, can I just like follow him? Hang on now, where's he going? Where do you live Albert? Good luck sir, although as we both know, I'm the one who needs it. Oh, someone's shooting out there man, be careful. Move what is that thing? Oh, the Driscoll's. On your knees, cancers. We will not take up a moment longer than we got to. Give over your <laughs> This is revenge for the fools did to me. <laughs> Sorry about that, Lou. Whoa, girl, easy. <laughs> God damn, they're holding up a whole train. You right, Lou? You didn't take any shots? Well, I'll be. I'm not gonna loot anyone in case I accidentally loot good people, because I know that damages are on it. So I'm gonna just leave it. We'll just shoot the Odriscoles and be on our way. You guys good? Blocking your way? Okay, he was like, yo, you did real good by me, but like, get out the way. Okay, idiot. Prong horns. Nice, alright, Lou. Let's go see about this bounty. Lou, you're not looking very clean right now. Hang on now. Okay, girl. Ah, there we go. Lovely. I love that I can do it on the back. I only just realized that when I saw the thing on the menu here. Lovely. I don't have anything, I want my hatchet at the ready. Let's just have my hatchet like hang off the side. Nah, it's still my knife. That's fine, now my knife looks cool. We did spend some money to do it up. Alright, let's see what this bounty is. Do that and then probably head on out to Saint Denis. No, oh, that help a father out is probably that bigger dude again. He just moves around the town to different locations, I guess. You got a problem with me? I think you think I wanted that snake to bite me. Hey, hey, hey. I think it's awful convenient is all. Yeah, well, it weren't convenient for me. Oh, oh, hey, friend. Howdy. You remember me? Yeah. Hey, you look familiar. Hey, Wallace, this here's the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, Let me buy a thing. I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith 
and pick out your choice of item on my tab. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks. I don't know if we've got much left to buy at the gunsmith, but I will definitely do it. What can I do for you? Better outside told me I could yeah. grab something on his tab. One with the bite in his leg. Oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find something right. you like, and I'll put it on his tab. And, 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 I think I bought all the weapons, right? Like, apart from the ones that were unavailable. So, uh-oh. No, I bought all the stuff. I can only buy like ammo. Could I do like a customization on one of my guns for free? No, because I can only get one thing, right? Bruh, that's the whole thing. Uh, Mr. Gunsmith, could I do a customization for free? Uh, what about my kettle man? Clean it for free. What about this one? Okay, hang on now. Styles. Medals. Okay, we could do all this stuff for free. Do we want to make it full gold? Not really. Um, give it the old black barrel. Black cylinder. Black frame. Do that for free. Does it look right though? The hammer. The sight. The trigger, black and white, or maybe gold with the black trim things on it. Fine choice. I'll let them know. Bye now. Bye now, bro. I ain't done. I'm doing this. I'm doing the whole thing. You see, this costs. I don't know if that was the cheapest thing to do or the best thing to do. Kind of like the look of the Baroque on this. Yeah, I think if I'm doing it, it's going Baroque. What's that, um, blue steel? Oh, well, before I carve the grip, can I see if there is different grips? Yeah, there is. Oh, the hero pearl. Damn. Yeah, why not? If I'm doing it, I may as well do it all. Make it longer, for sure. Rifle it, for sure. Ah, we got cash to burn, why not? Improved sights? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can't do the, the, the carvings or the varnish. Okay. And what about this one? Oh, that was the one. Okay, so what about the club one? I gotta make them look relatively good together you know uh give me that hero pearl as well give me that uh longer so i made that one gold with black so this one i mean because it's got gold and white on the um on the grip maybe if we just That's not bad. And where did I go? But bro, okay. Oh, with the gold. Yeah, okay. One's gold and black. One's wait. One's black with gold. One's white with gold. Yeah, why not? I didn't even use these. They're stored away. Thanks, bud. I don't even know if I've got them on me. Oh, so does my volcanics. Ow. Loot. Be careful in the middle of the road here. I'm gonna grab this wanted poster and uh, see what's what. Our very own avenging angel. Look on the wall there if you're after another quarry. Sure. What do we got? Ellie and Swan. $25 oh, looks like reward. Trouble, all right. Wanted alive for questioning. Known as the Black Widow, she is seen in the Cumberland Falls area. 
I rewarded $25 to be paid for the arrest of Alien Swan 1 for the crime of matricide. The above amount will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner um, with an unknown male who may be manipulating her. All information or rewards claim to Sheriff C. Malloy. Yeah, okay. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. There's more. Okay. Well, Dad. let's go, girl. Where are we going? Where's Cumberland Falls? It's Cumberland Forest. Oh, Cumberland Falls is like out here. Okay, we'll um take the marker like here and make go our way girl. over. Careful, Lou. Careful now. Can you, Lou? Okay, I guess we'll go this way. Good girl. Yeah, nice jump. You know, I should probably make some custom outfits and store them on the horse so that we can like swap between different looks. Because I was just thinking like, man, it'd be nice to get like a bounty hunter look and like a, I don't know, like I like my leprechaun look. And maybe if we can find winter coats, make a different one that isn't the winter gunslinger. We'll make like a different winter looking thing for if we have to go back up in the snow for maybe like hunts or for other bounties or something. Because I'm sure that'll be a thing. Because I think us, um... Thinking about Red Dead 1, right? I think that has like an unlimited amount of bounties. It's like their Radiant mission. They just never end. They just keep generating new people and new stuff yeah. to do. Whereas in this game, I'm pretty sure they're all like scripted to a point where like there's only some of them. Should we check on this place real quick? I mean, we've already kind of got our payback for it. Can we see if anyone's living here now? Hi, ma'am. Morning, sir. How's it going with you? Not great, but... There's nothing to be done. Sorry to hear that. All the best. Goodbye now. Well, that's it. Yeah. Usually when people ask how's it going, they don't they don't want to know if it's bad, especially if they're not your like close acquaintance or something. Usually don't be like, not great. But what can you do? <laughs> I suppose some people just can't help but be honest, right? Alright, we ride. See if we can find this lady who is matricide, which I think is like killing your spouse. It's like hom homicide's killing a stranger, whereas matricide is like killing your significant other. Hey, okay. like, killing your spouse? That's fucked up. We can probably kill the person she's with though, because we can't kill her. Oh, look out. Um, but the person she's with? They're free game, right? Lou's already getting dirty again. See, it's harder to tell though, because Terry had a dappleback coat, right? So, like, you couldn't really tell because he was always kind of spotty. But Lou, you can see when she's dirty. Ah, but next to level 2, we've unlocked rearing. Hold R1 and tap square with stationary before the move. Ready, Lou? Yeah, Lou. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. We ride. The dumb shit you can do with your horse. I love it. Looks like we're gonna make a cross up over this waterfall. Something's big blue. It's alright, it's alright. Take it easy, girl. I don't know if it was a snake or something, but she didn't feel it. Right, we're even closer, they're just up there somewhere. Oh, look out, partner. Don't good morning me, get the fuck out of my way. What is that? Oh, it's just elk. Right. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, let's also have a uh, pump at the ready. Okay. Ellie Ann Swan. She is one alive. I got this thing out for her friend. Hmm. Oh, look at that thing. Golden Cardinal. I wonder where we should be. Idiot. Let's hit up, see if we can like survey the land and find her. Okay, if we look.
Maybe down by the shore? Yeah, no, I'm not trying to walk you off. Don't worry, Luke. Good job. Alright, we'll keep looking. Careful, Luke. We're going downhill now. I think that's not a horse's biggest uh, strong suit. I assume maybe somewhere down here. Oh, hang on now. I also better put the dynamite away and have the last salt already. so guilty. Oh, oh, hey! Is she dead? Nah, she ain't dead. Well, how do I hogtie her? Oh, there we go, hogtie her. Holy shit, I didn't mean to smack her with my gun. <laughs> I didn't even know we could do that, to be honest. You Fuck. are a piece of work. Anything in your camp? Got some, like, liquor over there? Little bags of food or something? Hang on now. Rotten hell. Rot Jeez. With the rest of them. Ground coffee, canned salmon, apple, don't need none of that. Lou, come on. Uh, make sure we don't cut her free, we pick her up. <sighs> it's one thing to hate men, lady, but it's, you can't just go around killing people. Did not mean to hit her though, I thought I had my lasso out and then suddenly it was bah, in the head. Alright, Lou, sorry you gotta take this piece of trash. Sally, you got a ride ahead of you. All right, girl. Alrighty, not too bad at all. There, girl. Oh dear, what came over me? Is that, did I just do those things? Oh girl, she's gonna play like the insane. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a hit woman, but she gonna stab people, she can get hit. That's just, that's just fear. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I, I, I've done bad things. This the help you're looking for? <laughs> I cannot try and manipulate me, lady. I don't give a fuck. man so tough and burly you trying to play with me now a strong man like you i wouldn't be in this mess i ain't falling for it that's right arthur give her the back of your hand the good pimp got a camp deep hose and chip mm -hmm. oh look out skills i hate you you sad sack of shit I okay She wakes up quick though, huh? We ain't knocking her out for long. I suppose if it was for long, she might be in like an actual coma. Come on, Lou, let's ride. Give her a good sore tummy. God, this is like an OG feminist. Round up men, stab in the neck. Go, Lou, go. Horse is fast as fuck. We're honing. That's a good girl. I'm surprised she's staying on. How small Lou is and how she's just like bouncing that way on the back. Straight across the field. It's just over here, right? Yeah. Alright, slow it up now, Luke. Ah, 
Not too bad at all. It was pretty easy. What is wrong? Oh Don't be afraid just because it's a woman on the back. I'm bringing it in. If I was doing naughties, I wouldn't be coming into a public town. You know what I mean? Use your brain, guys. Use your brain. Goddamn savages! What? I hope he's not calling me a savage. I'm working for the law. I am the law. Yeah. We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. Mm-hmm. You tell her, Arthur. If we ain't fun, we are the law. Hey, move it already. Shut up, fool. Alright, Luke. You wait here. I'm gonna take Ellie Ann Swan inside and dump her on the floor. Alright, let's go. How are you? For Christ's sake. Alrighty, buddy. I want my money. I bought you the honey. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protect one? my innocence. I protect my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. I wonder if I could have saved them. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? Now, I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Where is it? Cool. I can't get it off the desk. I can't put it on the desk, my boy. The Black Widow herself. Boom. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she can find herself a husband yet. <laughs> well, that's cowboys for you. Jesus. Cheers, Sheriff. Alright. Lou, let's get the frick out of this bumpkin town. Anything going on in Strawberry? Doesn't look like it. Anything going on out in Rhodes before we just zip straight to, um... No. Nah. Looks like we're off to San Zanino. Or we could go try to find Magnifico. Nah, we'll leave that for later. Yeah, let's head in to San Zanino. Oh, we do have a bounty out here. Maybe. I think we'll head out to these Angelo Bronte missions now, though. I think it's about time. We've been kind of putting it off for long enough now. We've already been going for like an hour and a half and have even done a single piece of story. Oh, hang on now. There is a stranger and a freak thing going on in town. We back. <laughs> what could it be? Is it around the back? Now you see, oh, Flynn's dudes again. Is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now that's very useful. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my. She's still hanging our around friend. them. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The night and the name. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch yeah, him crumble. Him, yeah, just get out of here. Come on. Okay. <laughs> you really walloped him. Your turn, buddy. Right, yikes! Mm, I'm fine. Come on. Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin. Not like that toe rag. Good Lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit me again. again. Right here. Right here. Oh my God. Okay. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I stand. <laughs> Arthur looks like he's kind of holding back considering we're taking I out bigger people than these two. Barely even felt it. <laughs> There's only one thing for it, Dad. Hit me in the manhood. What? Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Real 
Uh, I'm going back to third person for this. <laughs> They've come out his ears. What the fuck? <laughs> My turn. Okay, Proteus. Enough, gentlemen. Yes, I think so. Oh, I slipped. And I oh, hope you killed the one in blue God. first. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please. One of you. There, there. Up you get. We need to get some steak on those Maybe she's trying to get herself a little uh, menage a trois. Good luck you know? to you. Whatever got into your heads? <laughs> Fucking wild. <laughs> Didn't even pay me for this one, but I suppose I just got to kick them. So, good bit of fun. Right in the nuts. Fucking crazy. That's why it's kind of good to like not fast travel though, because you might come across strangers and freaks and other events. So I think we're just going to ride out to Saint Denis. How do you do? You know what? Lou needs another brush already. Oh. I see that dirt build up on her booty. We need the breast brush you got, Arthur. I think you could do better. Your yeah, claws aren't the best right now. There you go. Have an okay, my girl. I remember at the start it's something about like hard worker right here. What about him? If Arthur eats too much he'll get fat, but like I don't know how much eating we gotta do to make him fat. I feel like we eat a decent amount. How's our um cause? Do something for our our um stamina. Let's have some canned pineapples. Sorry for littering. Hey puppy. Okay, boy. All right, let's ride. I was gonna fast travel, but yeah, nah. I think to keep bonding with the horse and to get go. the stamina and all that stuff up, may as well just ride out. And who knows, we might find another stranger or something along the way. Come on. Give a fella a nickel. Give me you know a dime. Yeah, I can help you again, my one-armed hugger. Hello, Mister. Hey, buddy. You remember hey, me, Mister? Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother, but I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. Because you slept on it. Brother, what? What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? This guy seems simple My as. Why not just show a bit of niceness? Was Arthur? Uncle Arthur, we called him on account of his name. It's a fine name. For sure, a Mickey. Name. Like a king. You keeping out the way, Lou? You could be yeah. my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. You can call me King Arthur if you want. Alright, see you around, Mickey. I was giving him another okay, dollar or something if I could. Alright, well. All the best, Mickey. What the fuck? And who knows, maybe we get lucky and we'll find some bison along the way. So I don't know if we can go back into um, the camp just yet until we've done these um, Angelo Bronte missions. So if we find bison, I don't know if we can actually take them into Shady Bell. But hey, you never know. If we find some, I will try to kill the perfect one. I'm not seeing much out here, and the rain's coming in again. Sheesh. Oh, what have we got over here? More raspberries? I don't think these are the ones I need to eat. I think I need blackberries and something else. I'll try it though, because I have forgotten. Eat them up after. Nom nom nom. And then these ones, you can just pick them up. There's some wild horses right there. Oh, hang on, Luke. We got some yarrow. It always helps to have some more yarrow. It's a health herb, right? So we can make health goodies with this. Alright. Ready to ride. Oh shit, it's like a whole ass thing. Good easy, my loot. What kind of horse is this? Oh, 
Targaryen half-breed. Huh. Cool. Sounds like something out of Harry Potter. The Hungarian half-breed. Oh no, it's a Norwegian Ridgeback. That's the Harry Potter one, right? Now, I kind of want to try that Hogwarts game, but it's like 120-something NZ dollars. And I'm like, bro, I don't want to spend 120 bucks on something that might be shit. Got like pretty good reviews, but I'm not sure if that's because like potheads played it, you know, like Harry Potter fans. And they just, they'll eat up anything that's got JK Rowling's stamp on it. Look out, bros. Look out, bro. Taking up the whole road to two of you. Time. Oh, it's like 5.30, I was going to say, it's pretty freaking dark, this is a heavy ass storm. Yeah. Right. Crazy with it. Oh, do you reckon there's going to be like, a chance we can get hit by lightning? Because that's freaking scary. Surely not. That'd be a real unfortunate way to go. Good girl. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you never know though. They, they programmed a lot into this game, man. I'm real looking forward to if they ever do a Red Dead 3. Like, I know for now everyone just wants GTA 6, which is fair enough, because that thing has been fucking beating like a dead horse. That's like Skyrim, where, like, bro, you can't put it on the PS3, 4, and 5. I expect people to keep wanting to play it. The only people that still play it are people who like respectfully have no fucking other thing going on. Like that's their whole yeah. livelihood. They're all sweaty as fuck. Like I'll never play a GTA game on stream um, purely because of the whole music thing. But if GTA 6 does come out, I'll play it. Because, I mean, Rockstar are just notoriously good at making games, right? Like, the controls are always a bit weird, but, fuck, the stories are always so well written. To me, like, Rockstar and Bethesda are kind of like a yin and yang. Like, Bethesda's real good at making games that, like, they feel good and they're fun. Yeah, they got, like, weird ass glitches, but they always fun. But the stories are always kind of like, oh yeah, true. Whereas like Rockstar's games, like the controls are pretty meh. You rely on auto aim for most of it. Like who wants to tap X to run? But fuck, they're good at writing stories and like making characters and stuff like that. People you care about, even though they're not even real. It's crazy. Howdy. I feel that man, all this fog sitting in real hard. Can't see shit. For all I know, we're gonna jump by a gator. Always take it slow, be careful. And hopefully, we won't get jumped by no gators. Because fuck, that would suck. Oh, sir, just in time. I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Uh. Why not? Where to? Oh, you're a good man. A good You better not pull me off my fucking horse. Yeah, there we go. Just had to ask for help, huh? Yo, Lou, don't go riding out into the frickin' into the middle of nowhere, man. There's there's gators out here. I'm not even doing yeah. that son bitch. Probably thought he could hear me. Just in case, though, in case that kind of thing happens again. Let's get that all at the ready. Oh, what an idiot. Bro really thought. Didn't use his brain. I was going to do the right thing and offer him a ride into town or whatever. What a guy. What a guy. Now i got dirt on my goddamn coat. These people. At least the fog's clearing up. That's something. Alright, I know we were meant to be like rushing to find little Jack, but as that's all scripted, it's really not a big deal. Everyone was in Santony anyway. Here we go. All right, girl. Boom. 
Saint Dennis. I like the people are complimenting my horse as well. Like we got the nice horse, everyone's like, sheesh, look at that girl. I'm like, yeah, this Lou. She got pretty hair and a braided tail. I know. Yeah. When I say this, I don't know what that means, but I hear people say it all the time in like uh, Spanish movies or culture. I assume it's like a, a greeting of some variety. Oh, look out now. Come on, everyone, get out the tram's way so I can get past it. Hello, ma'am. Have a good night, sir. Yeah, you too, ma'am. I wonder if my beard's going any longer. If we ride past the um, barbers, just I saw the clothes shop on the map. If we ride past the barbers, I think I'll pop in there. I'm not really looking for it. Oh, this is Justin here. Okay, you know what? I thought it was pretty close to the clothes shop. Is it just here? For me, sir. Is it growing anymore? Can I sing it? Does it just not grow anymore? Hmm. Still the same styles, right? I mean, out of all of them, I think I like the curly one the best. The handlebar? Like it looks like there's more space to grow, it's just not growing. What about my hair? Oh, that's it, it's max length now. Alright, well we should probably trim up. So, uh, then maybe we'll get a different style. Holy crap, yeah, that's long ass. I suppose it's because we got the fade on it, right? Like, if we had the sweat back without the fade. Yeah, there we go. It would have it all long and luxurious on there. Alright, let's go with the um, middle parting. Maybe we just go sweat back, no fade. Stylish and, clean. and then trim it back to a number one. Oh, Give us some space better. to go. Get it out of Arthur's face. Facial here. I mean, what full styles we got? Clean shave, flying fork, the English. <laughs> Bro could just use a face wash more than anything. Oh man, look at that thing. Okay, now I think if we're gonna do anything with this, let's go. Sideburn stuff. It's just got like the wacky pokes out one, right? Like that's crazy. And the chin was just that split, say. Eh? I don't mind that, but um, we have to get rid of the burns. Mustache style. Handlebars kind of hit, right? Like with the curls. Pencil was a bit too long. Let's get this handlebar back. Trim and distinguish. That's and then the trim the whole lot. Look. Get him like no facial hair. We'll ah, clean shave him up. And then it can all grow back out. We'll, we'll give it that time to grow. Alrighty. We're a clean right, new man. My mistake. Sorry, pal. If we please you tell others if we don't tell us. Yep, fair enough. I like that. Thank you for your help. Hello, mister. Hello, sir. Let's get. Come on. Come on, Luke. I stormed through that gate. This way, girl. There we go. Can I get on it now? There we go. Good 
job, Lou. up see what's what around here Hello, sir. Can, I, can I keep my guns up here though like come on bud we might be in San Denis but we want to be safe is it in here oh stick them up cowboy oh it's Dutch thank god <laughs> Funny Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's uh, very own Gamora. Pluck that out. He didn't say it. Can't things. say that on stream. So, how you get on? <laughs> I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. <clears throat> this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So I should just give it a shot. I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me. I'll meet you back here or not. Does he have 4chan? Can I be the same? Oh my god, everyone stopped and looked at me. I should have worn my fancy suit. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. <laughs> Well, they was just chin wagging. I don't want to interrupt them. But I'm never leaving. Here. Not unless we all get washed away. Me. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> but let me tell you something. The rest of the states they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Yeah, I feel like it's politer to wait. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Dollar for a whiskey. Here, have one for yourself. Right, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Huh. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Italian. He makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. He likes me because he's going to bring me. Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Okay. Thanks. Oh, my huh? friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. You following me or are you going out the bar too? Alright, well, kids in the alley. With a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with. Hi there. Have you <laughs> seen any kids around here? Oh yeah. What you talking Just about? Just through that archway there. Thanks, ladies. Ah, we won't need that. Cleat. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. This what kid in cost? the back's gonna rob me. I reckon no I doubt. can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. 
You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Is Kit gonna then. book it? You I don't know if to chase mister? a kid. Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. Uh -huh. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here is a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, oh, God damn it. Of shit. I fucking knew that was going to happen. Can I just... No, okay. Can I pull my horse? Oh my god. I don't know if I should hook up my horse or not. I feel like I shouldn't. Stop. Bro, it took my whole satchel. Can I just shoot? Maybe I should have taken loot. Nothing like a chase mission, huh? You give that back! Best you got off. Ah, oh, damn street trash. You up with that kid? How the shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. Hey, yo, where's the kid? Yo, can I not ask him? You know, I kind of... Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister! You better stop right now! Hey! Moron! Oh, fuck, sorry. Oh, fuck. Careful. What the hell are you doing, Arthur? What's the matter with you? Okay, easy in first person. You can't fucking control him in third. Okay, I'll jump both. Oh, shit. Oh, don't. Oh my god. These control this is what I mean though, like red Rockstar games control like shit. I'll kill you, even bastard! But the fucking stories are good. Oh fuck. Of course we did. Why are the controls so bad in these games and they're like, yeah, let's make a chase mission. Okay, he went somewhere in here again. Morning. Hello there. He's a beautiful I'm man. telling you, a cucumber. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Good morning to you. Oh my god, this place is packed. Really Everyone the fuck out the way. Why did I just trip on the fucking orb things? How the hell do you trip on an avocado, Arthur? Kid? What's the problem, Fred? Give me my things, boy. Go fucking shock I ain't your friend. That kid is. And he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. Fuck he got kids 50 sitting men, with his fucking mister. legs like this. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. 
You and them friends of yours been asking about them all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. The fuck is a Yankee? Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Can I shoot a kid? It's basically Cleet. I don't care if two of them have shotguns on me. I'll pop the kids with shotguns first, then Cleet. I can make me run on this trash controller game. Well, we found it. Yep. Here you go. I'm waiting for my horse. Saludos, sir. I want you to have this. Thanks, nice, man. Snake oil. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Respect, man. Respect. Hope the world goes good for you. Okay. We kind of gone too far. I think we just did like a big freaking loop. Come on, Lou. Fuck. Kids, man. One of the many good contraceptions when you see them act like that. Where is he? Clutch? You ever here? Oh, yeah, I see you. I see you. You like my new horse, Dutch? Huh? Fast than yours. Why are you sitting you like been? that, you dick? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want to tell people. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Good work. What well, now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that I guess we could have done back. any one of three things to find him. Because you know how we had those three options of missions? So I guess any of them would have worked. Or maybe two of them don't work and this was the best one. Don't know. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Definitely the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. If I ever get enough money to buy my own house, I am going so far from the fucking city. Far from real open country. I don't want to be out in open country, just like just like the woods. Okay, what did we need to do there? Catch the street urchin before he reaches the market. You can catch him before? Complete within five minutes thirty seconds. Oh my god. True. Sure. Okay. Well. Morning. Buenos dias. Where's this? So I guess it's like That's a greeting, right? Oh, we got a stranger over that way? Yo, Lou. That's the one, my girl. Gotta wait for this tram to go by. Alright, here we go. What do we got out here? Isn't that saloon that we um have to do with this rat problem? Do you reckon it's on the saloon again? There's another question mark out that way. Hang on now. Stranger. 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 Oh my gosh. Okay, so we just had to do that Angelo Bronte shit and boom. It's all beginning. The Strauss has a mission. Mary Beth has a mission. No, no, and thrice no. This is the Strauss, just more debt collecting. Money and lending and other sins. Five. Okay. Now we'll see if we can find this stranger that's in here first. And see what we can 